In previous vid videos, we looked at cutting a door into a three-dimensional wall. So I have a small building here. There's Sue. It has walls that are of a thickness of uh, four and a half inches. Uh, these, uh, this set of walls is not uh, set up as a group. Normally, normally when I have walls like this, I would select everything and make it into a group like that so its geometries don't interfere with other things. So we'll start with this. This is the way it is in my model. So I want to put a, put a, put a door on this surface here and the first thing I need to do is edit the group so as to expose the surfaces to editing. Now that I'm within the group I'm going to go to my components library and I've downloaded the uh, components bonus packs and so I have a number of doors here. I like the three foot wide door uh, for an exterior door. We'll use this. Three foot by six foot eight left. And as you can see, if I place it onto a, a face here and then click, it'll cut a hole. But it's only able to cut a hole through the first um, uh, the first layer of this double wall. The second layer is not cut and so I have this ridiculous looking uh, blockage here. And in a, a different video we had gone over different ways of cutting a new uh, a new side to this uh, to this door. One of them would be to use a door penetrator component that I had, I had created, a custom component for doing this. Uh, let's see, I'm going to set the door there, right at the bottom. The custom comp uh, penetrator is kind of nice, but it turns out it's a little bit clumsy. So, somebody who's smarter than me came up with this great idea, which is the hole punching tool plugin. This is found at the Sketchucation forum. Look at that. You need to be uh, registered with this forum, so when you go to forums.sketchucation.com, you can register there. It's free, and log in, and then you can find this, uh, this thing. I'm going to put up the, uh, the link on, uh, on the wiki site later on. Uh, but the hole punching tool is a very nice uh, component made by, or a uh, plug-in made by this person, TIG. And what it does is adds a new tool for glued cutting component instances, allows them to punch linked 3D holes through faces of double skinned walls, roofs, etc. Right click on the uh, uh, component, menu hole punching submenu will show up and then it gives you a, a number of different options. Okay, so here's a description, it's very long, it's uh, worthwhile to read the description though, and then toward the end of the post which you would not see if you're not logged into Sketchucation, you will find an attachment here. And you can save this file and uh, extract, the, extract the contents of the compressed file into your plugins folder. Remember that you cannot do this here at school at NMSU because you don't have administrator rights on the computers here. You need to install this to computers that uh, you own. And as I described in a previous video, if you do this, you can also run SketchUp from a USB drive. So you can take your instance of SketchUp, put it on a USB flash drive, and run that on one of the university computers as long as it has had SketchUp previously installed. So I've installed it here. And that means that I can take this door and I can right click on it. And you'll notice I have a hole punching. Uh, menu that shows up and I have the command here to punch and I hit it and it will add to this component and uh, and create a hole. It's great. So now I have a, a hole that goes to the wall. It's a three-dimensional uh, wall with a 3D hole that goes through both sides so that's very nice. Okay so what if I've decided I don't like the location of this door? Um, first I have to edit this group because the door is part of the wall group that I had, I had previously made. Uh, this door, because we're using the hole punch tool, uh, doesn't move around the way a regular SketchUp component 
attached to a wall would move because if we move it as you can see it has parts of it that are that are merged with the geometry of the uh, uh, of, of the walled unit itself and so we need to have some way of getting uh, getting those two unlinked. If I simply delete the door it'll actually delete the entire wall. It deletes a number of the edges that that define the wall. And so if you right click go to the hole punching menu again you can undo the punch. Nope, that does the same thing. We can right click on here find our hole punching menu and what you need to do actually it looks like is unlink the punch. Now your door now your door and its punch hole are no longer linked to one another and so you can move your door to another location. You still have this hole here and unfortunately the hole is really part of the, the wall's actual geometry. And so I want to heal this hole here and probably the most straightforward way of doing it is to use my push-pull tool on this edge this edge of the wall and then close the wall up like that. Now I can move my door to its new location right click again, right click in such a way that you can see it, tell it to punch. Hey, it doesn't like it. That's interesting. Well, looks like I have to delete the component and put a new one in. Ah, well so the take-home lesson appears to be always make sure that your doors or windows or whatever are in exactly the right place because it's a pain to move them you actually have to remove them and redo the whole thing oh well there are worse things in the world to deal with so again we'll go over it kinda of quick we can find a, a 3D component that cuts I think what I'll do is I'm gonna put in a, a window this time Here. There's a window, skylights, uh, double hung, mullion, whatever. Okay, dang, that's a big window. I'll put it right here next to the door. What I had read, by the way, is that a rule of thumb is the top of the window should be matched up with the top of a door. Who'd have thunk it? This window is designed to cut a hole, but it, again, it only cuts in one surface. Go to the hole bunch tool punch a hole and now well look at that you can see there through the window at Sue on the inside of the inside of, uh, of the room so that's the hole punch tool, a new plug-in for SketchUp that was made by a really smart person who's better at this than I am. Uh, definitely use it because uh, it looks really convenient to use, uh, much better than my method in any case. Uh, as long as you are sure to place your components, your windows and doors in exactly the location they need to be so you don't have to move them again, then you're good.